is Louise with Louise McKee Art, and uh, I am going to get, get my swiping on today. And I don't know about you guys, I know I've mentioned this in my bio and in other videos, is that I like to rotate from technique to technique. Um, I don't know, just like the buffet, I guess. But I was watching some videos from Kathleen from Cos Creations the other day. And speaking of buffet, it's almost like you get a sniff of something really good and you have to have it as far as food. That's what it was like when I saw Kathleen. And uh, I don't know which video it was, but something of hers really prompted a taste for swipes in me. So I'm gonna use some of the same regular paints I used on my prior pores earlier with the Nebula in the large 24 by 36s. And I've added some GAC and some water to thin them down. So currently I'm looking at this kind of consistency. So it's much more flowy and all of these are about the same. And that was my major learning when I tried to do swipes the first time when I had my first commission in February. I was trying to swipe too thick. And I actually reached out to Kathleen at Kaz and she says, no, 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 you need thin, thin paints. So not as thin as pearl or as thin as Dutch pour, but thin nonetheless, thinner than I would consider my regular paints. So in my lineup, I've got the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. I've got my, uh, this is Liquitex. Write it down in the description box. This is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. This here is a little bit of a concoction I have some burnt sienna from Golden in here, and then I have some of my Liquitex Red Oxide from the prior pour with some of the Australian Floetrol in this and then some regular Floetrol. So this is really a, a mix of a variety of things um, to get that, that similar quinacridone Nicolazzo gold look. And then this is the 24 karat gold with a little bit of iridescent gold from Golden. And this is my Golden's Iridescent Pearl. My base coat is mixed with the Artist Loft. The same paint I used for my Nebula and for the large commissions, but thinned down. So I don't know if you can see it, but basically it pours right off the stick and just a touch of a mound and then straight into the cup. So that's where we are today. So with that, I'm going to uh, use these swiping tools over here. And I've mentioned this before. What I do is I have a variety of tools that I've cut up, including a little teeny tiny guy, which actually has come in handy. But I've got a variety of sizes. I just use this like a, like a, a swiping tool, I suppose, like a palette knife. I see what I'm gonna wanna swipe with and I use, use one of these. I have the tape on the end so I know which side's the handle, my handle. And all I did to create those was get a piece of vinyl acetate and cut them to size. And I've actually been in videos before where I've been swiping and realized I needed a different size than what I had, and I would just cut on the fly. So that's what I've got for today, and I'm going to lay it on my base coat, and uh, we'll get started. Hi everyone, I'm back. I've uh, just torched this and I've got it on my spinner and um, I just find the spinner is really easy to work with. So the idea is I'm just going to do straight um, swipes today like a ghost swipe and I'm going to use those six colors and we'll see what we get. So my first color is going to be, matter of fact I'm going to lay it going left to right or right to left, and then I'll swipe the other direction. And I see something in here. All right, so I'm gonna lay two strips down. All right, everybody, I'm gonna double time through this. I've already gone over the paint, so you can see the paints I'm laying down, and I am doing two strips, and I'm gonna be layering them on top of each other in a drizzle, because I do want them to blend. Um, if you hear any panting in the background, I'm walking, I'm on my morning walk, so sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be layering this down, and one of the things I do say during this is that, once again, I seem to get a little crazy with layering too much paint. It's almost like I have a paint insecurity. I've got to always have enough paint, 
but then I end up with too much. I guess from time to time. As I'm pulling the swiping tool over the paints, I'm doing it with the lightest touch. I've barely got any pressure at all. And sort of like in the bloom, I'm thinking and just skimming it and feathering that vinyl acetate protector over the top of the paints. I just want to spread them out. I don't want to push them down. I need to add some more color. So now that I've laid down the additional strip of color, I'm going to double time again. The only thing I pointed out here is that the really cool thing about swiping is that you can always make adjustments in laying down more color, changing the color, and re-swiping to get the combination and the final color you're going for.
So here I'm just touching up the sides with my base coat where I took a little too much off on one of the swipes. So I'm just going to stay on the double time as I continue to add a little bit of color here and there and continue to swipe. And as you'll notice, my swiping tools are getting smaller and smaller as I'm trying to get even more detailed as I go. And that little swiping tool is, to me, like the secret weapon. But uh, I'll be quiet as uh, you continue to watch me work out the fine details here. All right. what I was pointing out there is that uh, that blue I really wanted to break it up so basically what I'm doing is I'm swiping the swipe with the tiniest of my little swipers and it's just enough just enough to break it up a little bit so it's not quite so stark on the canvas One last torch. All right, folks, I think I'm going to call this a wrap. Yeah. Here's a close-up. Pretty happy with this guy. Look at that. Really nice. I love these colors. Holy cats. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. 
hope uh, you've learned something, you know? Don't be afraid to try different sizes. This, how innocuous is this? It's valuable. The littlest things, I'm telling you, it's always the littlest things. So thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time and take care.